podcasts. This is KCBD News Channel 11 at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The halls of Dupree Elementary may see students again soon. It is up to the trustees now whether it will become the new home of Matthews Academy and a child care center. KCBD News Channel 11's Joshua Ramirez has our report and why Lubbock ISD Superintendent Kathy Rolo says this move would help better serve students and educators. Um, the Matthews program serves students from all over our city. If Lubbock ISD trustees approve this change, Lubbock ISD Superintendent Kathy Rolo says Matthews Academy could better serve its students. The board is expected to make a decision on whether those alternative education students will call the old Dupree Elementary Building home next school year. It's definitely a very uh, efficient um, move to make, um, but it also, we believe, will be more effective as well because it's centrally located. The state of the current Matthews building plays a big part in the decision to leave its original North Akron location. Rollo says bringing the school up to standards the board is comfortable with would put a heavy strain on the district's budget. All of the things that need to happen if we're going to continue to use that as a school um, exceed $10 million. A large chunk of that cost would go to an already struggling boiler system. The district is also waiting on a claim for hail damage, and Rolo says the move to Dupree is only a fraction of the cost. So we can make some minor adjustments at the Dupree building for less than a million. Some of those adjustments would see part of the building turned into a high quality child care facility. But this is going to allow us to expand that child care um, in a central location in the middle of Lubbock. Those services will benefit the children of both students and district staff. Rollo says it would also act as a teacher recruitment and retention tool. As for parents, Rollo says the district is reaching out to gauge how they feel about the move to central Lubbock. Everyone seemed very positive about it. We're going to the North Lubbock Neighborhood Association next week to visit with them as well. So we're trying to visit with as many groups as possible. 